Hey you going, everyone? Welcome back to Destination F, Volume 38. Uh -oh. Off she goes. Uh -oh. Let's bring in the rescue team. Let's keep that rescue team on the payroll because this dad is far too relaxed and shit mixed. He almost broke his <laughs> neck, but the kids love it. Core memories for an eternity. You can walk it off, big fella. Three, two, one. Destination fucked. Oh, I've opened with a real water-based theme, haven't I? Destination F, Atlantis, I call it. You legends that send in videos have a lot of water and skiing fails and bikes, but I'll get to those. Look at these spinny spins. He is majestic, living his best life. This reminds me of my dad on the Swan River in the 90s. Do it again, do it again, do it. Fuck yeah. What, how does he do he just... No, like first off, I wouldn't even consider doing that. I don't even understand this. I just, <laughs> this whole butt thing on the water too. Hell no, I ain't doing that can't get me to do any of this. I am not going to be doing that on the water. Get out of here. Get, 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 get with this. Needs a pair of budgie smugglers to top it off. So far, this is nothing but destination perfect. I fail to see how there's a here fail we involved. Here we go. What are you doing? Don't change your grip. Don't put that there. Fuck me. Oh, Let's cross over to a wedding without a cake. The bride is like, you know what? We can still eat that. I tend to agree with her. The cake looks like a shit biscuit on a plate anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, no, yeah, it's all good. Keep That is the saddest. That's a cake? Is that a cake? That is the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Is this is this an is this an Australian cake? <laughs> like what what's going on in Australia right now? Is this like somewhere in Australia, or is he just pulling this clip and these people are from everywhere? But I, I tell you what, I'm not I'm not sure what I'm looking at. It, it, it's terrible. Dancing. I feel bad for the young hospitality dickhead, though. He's like, thinking, ah, oh, now I'm going to oh, get... Oh, that poor kid. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. That's just the worst gut-wrenching feeling right there. This kid. First off, never put, never, never put the 14-year-old in charge of a cake that's probably, like, five grand that shouldn't be five grand because, I mean, like, look at it. There's literally nothing on this cake. There is literally... First off, can we just laugh at this? There's literally nothing on this cake. Can we just laugh at this? <laughs> What, what is going on with this wedding cake? Nothing. No filigree. No, you know, what? no flowers. No anything. Nothing. No names of the people who got married. No. Can we just talk about the cake for a second? <laughs> this is the worst wedding cake. Like, this video should just be called Destination Worst Wedding Cake Ever. But the woman behind the 14-year-old is like, like, who was in charge of putting the 14 year old of this of this terrible cake? This is exactly what happens. This is where this cake belongs on the floor. You know, things happen for a reason. <laughs> it looks like a giant communion wafer. <laughs> Executed. My boss is gonna kill me all over a shit stale looking biscuit cake. This that's his son. That's his fucking son, and you know he feels. Terrible. My boss is gonna kill me. All Oh no, oh no. It's almost like he wanted him to drop it. Like the, I feel like he's like, yeah, secretly they talk behind in the, in the kitchen and, and it almost looks like he he's like, yes, but also like, no, at the same All time. All over a shit style oh, looking bitch. son, I'm, so, you did exactly as I told you, son. You dropped this ugly cake on the ground. Good cake. This Sheila's face goes from yay to I'll go oh, get the God. bloody strawberries. Oh. Cybertruck, from mm. what I see online, there's only one destination where this will end up. Although this one looks like a tough one. Maybe it could be a tough build an anomaly it will be okay don't believe everything you see on twitter they can't be that bad i still call it twitter okay yeah nah. <laughs> it's pissing out blue shit that one's fucked <laughs> it's not a tank okay everybody it, it it looks different but it is definitely not a tank and it does get stuck in areas it pains me it pains me, but it does. It does. It does. And and you can't do that with pretty much any car these days. The only thing you could have done that with was like a fucking 64 Mustang 
or any muscle car. <laughs> anyway, could this possibly be the fault of the driver? However, maybe. This is this is this guy's shtick here. Massow says, I know this guy, rich dude doing crappy stuff to his cars. Wow, that's the claim to fame. <laughs> I'd rather be a reactor, you know? <laughs> oh, I would rather be a reactor than do that. Wait, what? I am a reactor, Pepe? I, I'm a reactor? Holy shit. What? Let's go. I'm an enhancer, bro. Yo, oh, you're both reversing, you two. Oi, neighbors, Thank dickheads. You, what are you doing? You're both reversing. You no. keep doing that. There's only. <sighs> you know, shame. Hold on. Public shaming right now. What? Shame. 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 This is the most basic. Basic driving is pulling out of your driveway. I mean, it's the most basic of driving for both of these two. It's going to be one outcome. You've kept doing it, and here's the outcome. I knew the outcome. Here's an employee at Benny Boy Brewing. What? <laughs> it's slow. Yes, Pepe, yes. Yes, Pepe, yes. Hold on a second. Here's an employee. Here we go. We're slowing it down for a slow mo break. Boy, at Benny Boy Brewing, what commitment to marketing? Sending himself to destination. Fart and smelling like <laughs> stale ale for the rest of the day. I don't know where this pub is, but I love it. Dash cam footage. Oh. It rarely ends well when it makes its way onto the internet. Where's our lucky DF contestant there? He is. <laughs> Wear a helmet, kids. Ah, oh, good. This Aussie man viewer wears a helmet. I'm proud of you, mate. Now let's see how badly you injure your... Dude, dude, dudes, dudes. I used to do this when I was like six fucking years old. We had this section of, of, of land that was being developed... Uh, in our neighborhood and we bought these BMX bikes and, and it was a crazy eighties neighborhood and it was all dirt. And we man had viewer these... wears a helmet. I'm proud of you, mate. Now let's see. There were bunny hills and there were like large jumps that we made. It was like the best moments of my childhood memories. We had like a little bike park because the developers, they went bankrupt, but they left, they left like a, a earth mover there and a fucking, they let, they left a lot. They left a dozer, there was like caterpillar equipment there. <laughs> it was like something out of a video game, and we made a whole track, man. It was wonderful, and it w it stayed that way for years upon years. Uh, they just developed the land about ten years ago and put houses on it, so it was kind of sad. I drove through the old neighborhood one day, just for like to reminisce about the bike park we had that we made ourselves, and it was you know there's houses all over it, and it was a sad day. I was like, shit, I miss it. Like, I miss it. I, this used to be an amazing bike park all the way up to about 10 years ago. It was all undeveloped, and you could still see the track. I wish I took pictures of it, man. I, I, it was awesome. It was very much like this, and we just we jumped, and it was great. It was, see how badly I you miss. injure yourself. Ow! Oh, yep, that's happening. That driveway is very blank. It's freaking me out. Headlight incoming. It's a Sheila on a tiny motorbike. No helmet. You fair dinkum dodgy wanker of a goose. Yeah, no, yeah. You sit there. Reflect. Think about your actions. <laughs> Here's the thing with that little oh, bike. Oh, that driveway is very blank. It's freaking me out. Headlight incoming. It's a Sheila on a tiny. You know the funny thing with these mini bikes? Devin was telling me this story the other week. He went out with his friends and his one of his friends, Alex, bought off of Facebook Marketplace eight 
mini bikes for 800 bucks. This is what, this is what happens now, man. In Devin's generation, they just flip shit. They buy shit low and they sell it high to somebody else. It's how a lot of them make money. It's, it's, it's a lot the, the, the teenagers and those in the young twenties tend to flip shit. And this, this kid, Alex's friend bought eight of these. And then my son was telling me the story that he was out riding these with his friends in the middle, like at like two or 3 AM at night. And the cops were wandering around the neighborhood <laughs> looking for them. And my son's sharing this information with me, by the way, I would never have done that with my parents. I, w- I never <laughs> would have told them anything about that, but I, I was like, okay, let them share this story. Like, don't talk yet. Don't say anything. You know, I'll give fatherly instruction after I hear the story. Yeah. Trust, super trust. Right. And I love that. I love that my kids tell me just about everything sometimes, <laughs> but I, but I allow them to, uh, because it's awesome. You got to have that relationship with your kids. So he tells me all about this and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait to give my fatherly advice. I'm going to insert it when he's done. And he finishes telling me this story about the cops going around looking for him in the middle of night, riding mini bikes. There were like four of them. It was like a little, it was like a little clown, uh, Mad Max cinematic. (laughs) It was like, you know, it was like, you know, it was a circus, man. It was like four kids on mini bikes in two to 3 a.m. in the morning riding around in the neighborhoods. Right. And he's telling me the story and then I wait for him and I say, okay, he's done. Now I can insert the fatherly advice. And I said, son, that's fucking awesome. (laughs) <laughs> gave him a pat on the back I said good job for evading the cops did you have fun he said yes I said good job son <laughs> have many more adventures right thank you Aether Aether said that was good fathering right there Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Aether. That's exactly what I told him. I told him it was fucking awesome. Good job. Have a lot of fun. Do a lot of fun things. It's the age to do it at. For God's sake. <laughs> Don't tell your mother. Well, sadly, in his case, yeah. Uh, he doesn't, you know, Amy passed away. So it's just me. It's just me, the dad, taking care of two kids. So anyway, I will say, like, it was a great story. I just wanted to share that with you. I am merely a reactor. No, I'm not. I'm, an enhancer. I'm, an enhancer. I'm sorry. I'm taking a break from enhancing. Let's get back to the video. Any motorbike, no helmet. You fair dinkum dodgy wanker of a goose. Yeah, no, yeah. You sit there, reflect, think about your actions. Here come her bazillion kids. They're like, <laughs> OMG, are we literally about to be orphans? Nah, it's all good. Let's get that tiny bike out of the way. She is in What's charge of a lot of kids and pets. Perhaps this overwhelming responsibility has led to risky mini biking behavior. Here we go. Here's the obligatory skiing video. Cheers to all the legends sending videos i always wanted to be able to snowboard when i was a kid i used to skateboard but i was really doppy i could literally on a skateboard i could do an ollie that's it i wanted to do so much more and a 180 i couldn't even do a full 360 on a board it was pathetic i had a a skateboard called a schmidt stick okay which schmidt sticks were the shit back in the day man like i saved up for this thing it was like a 200 hundred dollar board back in the day and that's expensive dude that's like 400 now i saved and i saved And I got myself a Schmidt stick. And the only fucking thing I could do on a Schmidt stick was Ollie and do like a 180. (laughs) Yeah, Schmidt stick. Come on, fingers. You remember those envision boards? Shit. But I always wanted to be able to snowboard. I just, I know I wouldn't be a good snowboarder because I couldn't, I couldn't even skateboard. Sadly. By the way, this is smooth so far. It's relaxing. It's European as fuck. What could possibly go wrong? I'll tell ya. Veering off the track into the bumpy terrain and wham! Dickhead what? down. Poor. Why? Why go there? Poor, poor, poor dickhead down. <laughs> Oi, keep getting those pre orders in for the Aussie Man boomerang. All right, well, there we go. Another Aussie Man video, Destination F'd. Uh, it, yes. I'm I'm a fan of this. I like it. There'll definitely be more. <laughs>